So this week's lesson is all about brushes. And many of us use brushes in working with other medium, so why not use them with alcohol inks? And one of the things that you're gonna need is a palette. This is an example of a weld palette. There's lots of different ones. And you can put the ink in here and then you can dip into it with your brush. So let's look at some of the shapes of brushes. So this is some um, turquoise ranger and most people use very often a round brush and you'll notice because that was a white bristles as soon as I put the brush into the ink it soaked it up. So this is a number three round brush and you get some control in your strokes by using the brush. Another cool shape is an angular brush because you can use it to make all kinds of neat shapes. A very helpful brush is also a liner brush. What you'll notice is I used up all the ink that I put in the palette already. I need to soak up the ink and you can dab it off to the side but a liner brush will let you do little detail lines. And in watercolor, not very often we use a wash brush. So this is an example of a broad brush and I'm gonna need a lot of ink in there. This guy's gonna suck it right up. So let's go ahead and put the wash brush in. I know I'm gonna want more ink to get a good coverage. Okay. And what a wash brush lets you do is let you cover a large area in a small amount of time. And some things that you'll notice in where there's more alcohol, it's real smooth. And as the alcohol evaporates, you get more of these lines. The brushes are a lot of fun to use all these different kinds of shapes. So people will ask me, do you use a good brush or a cheap brush? And I'm going to show you the differences. For the longest time, I only used cheap brushes, um, but now I do use some of my more expensive brushes. Here is a inexpensive brush. This is a little Taclon Craft Smart. So put some alcohol in here. It sucks up the ink and works very nicely. This is a synthetic squirrel. So it has squirrel and synthetic in it. This is a silver black velvet. Now, if I just put the brush in, you see it's soaked up everything and it'll give us a similar line. But what I like to do is I like to load the brush first with some alcohol. So let the brush go ahead and soak up the alcohol first. And that way your bristles are wet rather than being dry. And then it won't suck up as much ink. and you get a real nice feel with it. I wanna show you a very large brush. This is a number 10 black velvet, and I'm gonna put in an alcohol first, just to wet those bristles. Let's go ahead and soak up that ink. Now what happens here is there's so much ink inside the brush, I can keep painting for quite some time. And if I want to do a large area, you can press, move that around, get a really nice flow using the brushes. Quality, you can use good brushes, you can use inexpensive brushes, either way. And the shape, you'll just have to decide based on what you want to paint. So another 
common reason to use a brush in a palette is that you want to mix your own color. So I'm putting two Ranger inks in the palette. I'm putting Sailboat Blue and Sunshine Yellow. First, I'm going to show you that the brush will allow you to layer the colors. So here is some Sailboat Blue. And then let's go ahead and put a layer on top of Sunshine Yellow. And because the inks are translucent, now we see green where we're looking through the yellow to see the blue. Now we can also mix that in our palette. So we can take some of the yellow, take some of the blue, and mix it till we get the color that we want and then go ahead and just paint with that color. So that's another advantage to using a brush is that you can decide what color you want to mix in the palette. And then the other thing that I always talk about using a palette is the evaporation level. So here we've got this sailboat. It's kind of beaded up on the edges and that is where there is less alcohol and more concentrated dye. So if I go into where the bead is with my brush, the ink I pick up is easier to control. Then if I go smack in the middle where there's a lot more alcohol, it moves. Now here we've got the ink is all dry. Well, what if you want to Go ahead and use that again. You can put a little alcohol on your brush. Come in here. And you can reconstitute the color again. You can reconstitute the dye. And now you have something that you can paint with. So those are the main ideas when you start working with brushes with alcohol inks.